Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. I'm Luke. And I'm Dan. In this video, we're gonna go and we're gonna harvest a large tomato. Now, is it gonna be one of the possible world records? No. Oh. It's one that's <laughs> had blossom end rot. I was able to heal it up and dry it up and so. But it's not tiny. It's not that, it's not a tiny tomato though, guys. <laughs> if, if it's something that he's been babying, you can be sure it's not that tiny. Yeah. So he said it's not big, but we'll see what that means. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> that, that's subjective uh, <laughs> measurement. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got a scale here. It's uh, certified by the state for measurements, and we got it sitting over here, and we're going to go into the greenhouse, and we're going to yank it off the vine or something. Yeah, yank it Just out Just rip there. it off. <laughs> yeah, who cares? <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's get to it. Okay. Here we go. You're gonna have to fight your way through all this stuff. Okay. All right. Hey, so we're in the far side of Dad's greenhouse. You know, it's weird stuff happens at the far side. Everything's <laughs> distorted, and I think this time it's gonna be distorted in a big way. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do, Dad? Uh, do Dad, do Dad. Uh, we're gonna cut down a bunch of this plant so I can get the tomato out. Okay. So I'm just gonna. He's gonna start, destroy the start, plant to get the tomato. I'm just gonna start snipping stuff, plant away so I can get to the tomato. So don't harvest your tomatoes this way, <laughs> but you can harvest your giant tomatoes this way. So dad, yeah. can you tell people why all these leaves are all curled up like this? Oh, that's, just, look what, at them. that's just what they do when they, they're about the end of their the life, uh, cycle. life cycle here with the, mm -hmm. put all the juice into that big tomato and they're just, it wore out. Well, we haven't seen a tomato yet. Where is it? It'll show up here. It's hanging on us in a sling. Yeah. It's, it's, Look it's taking it easy. Yeah. Wait for the day here. So that main stalk is at the bottom. It's about an inch and a quarter or something across maybe. Oh, you pull up. A t oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's lettuce growing is in a pot. It's growing in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> Never know what you find in this crazy man's garden. <laughs> <laughs> you just plunked it on the ground, it made me laugh. So let's see here. Now we're starting to see the tomato. Oh, he cut it loose. Oh, he cut it loose even more. And they say you gotta have it within an inch. Cut the main stem. Okay, let's see a view of this. Oh. So, I'm just going to visually leave as much stem on there as we can. Get as much weight, but this is not a very big tomato. Has to be within an inch of the, yeah. of the flesh. Yes. So, so we're going to try to get it, maximize our weight here. So technically the stem can be part of the, the tomato. Yeah. Kind of. You can leave it on if you want. That's just about an inch there. Show it down a little bit more. There. there you go. Okay. So I'm just gonna unhook it from the hook. Oh yeah, this is the baby. <laughs> it's a baby? Yeah, it's not very big. <laughs> I'd say it's big. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take it out and we will weigh it on the scale. Put it on the scale, scale. And see what it is. Yeah. All right, we got the scale set up here. Let's see what we got here. Now, if these things weighed really a lot, then you wouldn't want to set them down because it would uh, crack. A lot of times they'll crack and split. Right when you set them weight. down? Yeah, because they're so heavy. Oh. Well, let's see what the bottom You can is. see where the blossom end rot had been right here. There's a little bit of a blossom end rot that had dried up and cured. So uh, people are going to ask you, how do you fix your blossom end rot? Is that a proprietary secret? Uh, you just add a lot more calcium uh, to it and hopefully it stops it. Uh-huh. So yeah, this is just a little guy. Is the scale on? Nope. We will turn it on. Uh, you, here, you turn it on by over here. Oh, okay. There's a, see if I can run the camera and do everything here. It's going to do its startup sequence. And I'm guessing this is like a. Uh, I'm gonna do a guess. Okay. How many? Let me see. 
Oh, yeah, I can see it's starting to split a little bit because from setting down. Yeah. Um, I'm going to guess it's like a seven and a half pound. Yeah, I think you're pretty close. Let's see what happens. Might be a little more, maybe eight. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nine. I was a little bit uh, off. <laughs> There's nine. 9.08. Yeah. Can you take it off of there again and this? See, it goes back to zero. Yeah, zero. And then I put it on. Yeah. 9.08. Yeah, and here's the, in case you guys are wondering, here's the test and an approved label here. You have your, your other scale, and yeah. we could wait on your scale as well. Sure. Just so people aren't going, oh, that scale's tinkered is, with. The wind is changing it. When it was blowing, it was 9.7 and 9.6. See, the wind's blowing it. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes a difference if the wind is blowing. All right. Have nine, a scale. Got a nine pounder. Yeah, I'm surprised it's that big. <laughs> I guess I, that's a good way to guess is guess under and be surprised that you have a bigger tomato. Well, he's going to go grab his other scale, which is certified as well. We'll see how close they are. They should be exactly the same um, if the certification was correct, obviously. So let's take a look at this a little bit closer. You can see we set it down. And there's a little crack right there, just a little tiny crack. But So the rules as far as cracks is it can't be leaking fluid. Yeah, it can't be leaking. Crack's fine, but it just can't be leaking. Right. And it can't have a significant soft spot, and there's no soft spots. These are just, just yeah. where the blossom and rot and right. cap facing is. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Well, yeah. you said to pick up that one and move it over. Sorry, I can't help you. My hands are full. <laughs> I can't. Get, yeah, get I all, all four feet on there? Yeah, I think. Yeah, got all four feet on there. Good. And I turned it on. Um, the scale may, the platform may not be level. Yeah. Because on mine, my feet weren't level to level it up. So we'll see what happens. It may be a little bit slightly off. Oh. It's really close, 9.075. Yep. So <laughs> there we go, 9.07075. So that's about as exact as you can get. Yeah. So, yeah. And that one's. That's a certified scale too, I think. Too. Oh, it's back. On the back. On the back side here. here we'll, Turn it around here. Show that. It's there right we go. Here. We just got it. We just actually got that check like a week ago or something, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah Wednesday, I think Surprised it was. Surprised the guy came that quick. So, so 9.75. Just in time, he got him certified. And, and put over here. Point zero eight. So it's rounding it up. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then the wind is obviously making it. The wind is changing it. <laughs> Yeah. I'll block the winds if it stops it. Yeah. 9.08, yeah. Yeah, 9.08. Okay. And cool. It has to be fused. The tomato has to, it can't be two separate tomatoes. It has to be all, the flesh has to be all joined together, fused together. You can see this one's very obvious. Yeah, there's no break in there's it. There's no breaks in it. It just, it just goes around here. I mean, what looks like a, what looks like a break right here is not actually a break. It's, it's fused in there. Well, it's just and, and then up here, it's fused as well. It's yeah. not, I mean, it's, it's continuous flesh. Yeah. What about the backside? People would say, well, look at that one, you know, this looks like it's not continuous right here. Well, that's just because this is... Because it's a circle. It's a circle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. So that's yeah. the stem end. Right. Yeah. Because the circle is shaped into like a weird infinity sign, all crumpled up. So now we need to figure out how to uh, register it on the GPC site, uh, Greater Pumpkin Commonwealth. Okay. And get that recorded. All right. So you got a decent sized one. <laughs> Surprisingly for a habit blossom in rot. Yeah. Uh, it pulled out of it and, and it turned out, yeah, all right. Yeah. So, so what kind of tomato is this for people that are wondering? It's Domingo, all minor Domingo. Uh-huh. It's out of the 944 seed. Out of the 944 seed? That's all. We, uh, only thing I grow. we have a bunch of 944 seed crosses on our website at SutherlandOrganics.com. You can go there. We've crossed them with a bunch of other large tomato varieties, that, the same strain. So, um, anyways, you can get large tomatoes that have been crossed with the 944 on that website. So, yeah, that's something you can do if you want. Just go to our website, hit the search box, and type in 9.44, and it'll pull up all of the 944 crosses. Yeah, good. Makes it easy. Yeah. Okay. So, now we're going to figure out how to register the thing. Yeah. 
I'm gonna get one more shot before we before we go here. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah. But Dad's like, eh, kind of, yeah, eh, <laughs> not, not not that big. <laughs> Good. That was fun. Yeah. I was wondering what that was. I never put a tape measure on it or anything. I just should. You want to measure it all the way around? Oh yeah. Thank you. I think I, always I think, forget. Yeah, the other tomato we didn't do it on film, and we had to really look around to find where our measurement yeah. went. We finally found it. The other big 17.15 pound tomato. So, so now when you go around, you have to do the same height, or can you just stick it around the largest just, size, or what? Stick it in the largest area. Now this bump here is, I'm not getting that. Maybe I can go up here a little bit. And Whoops! Just your tape has to be just strung around it. That's all. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, if you go. If you go up here, you go up here, there. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> you gave me too much slack. Here, I'll put this up there. I'll try to keep tension keep, on it. Keep tension on it. I'll put this up here. There we go. Okay. i put that probably so the biggest circumference. 31 and 3 quarters, 31 and 5 eighths. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. That's yeah. pretty big around. Yeah, it's pretty it's big around. It's a flat around. tomato. It's It's got a lot of voids in it. And it's a kind of a flatter tomato, so yeah. it's it's not like a round ball. Well, it's more of a flat. Strung out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. So get it registered. And so what's the current record? Do you, what is the current record 11. now? Eleven point six five. Eleven point six five. That's yeah. the current world record. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many tomatoes have you grown uh, this uh, this size or bigger? Kind of approximate, if you can take a guess. Oh. I don't know. 20 or more okay yeah so that's why he's saying it's small guys <laughs> 2000, 2023 i think i harvested in one day i did like eight world record tomatoes if i would have certified them yeah they would have been world records yeah that's, yeah that's crazy so yeah but anyway we'll see what the net what the rest of the season holds we've got uh, several more that are blushing and uh, we'll be harvesting them in a few days. Definitely bigger than yeah, this one. Definitely bigger than this one. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I don't. I don't think I'm going to do a personal best this year. I don't think anything, anything's that big. Uh -huh. We'll find out. Yeah. Well, we, I underguessed on this one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have much more than a 14 pounder. Oh yeah. Maybe even a 15 at the very max. I think. So. Okay. But anyway, we'll see. You yeah. know, until you pick it off, you can't tell. I don't measure it. There, so. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> That's exciting. That's the fun part. Yeah. That was a big tomato. That was a lot of fun going and seeing Dad harvest the tomato. It doesn't take very long, does it? And we got a pretty good one. Not too bad for having blossom in, right? Yeah. So that's, um, could you uh, tell folks how, um, how did you notice the blossom end rot and what did you do? Kind of what, what did you, what was the sequence of events? So you saw something? Oh yeah, you see the, the discoloration starting to form on the bottom of the tomato. Is that kind of, it turns pale? A little no, bit yellowish? No, it, uh, it it's kind of a darkish, brownish uh, model look at the very beginning. Okay. And then just to be a solid brown rot mess yeah. if you let it go. If you can't control it, sometimes you just can't. Most of the time you can't, but we're lucky on this one. So what did you do to control the blossom end rot specifically? I I just added a lot of uh, the... Uh, Solution grade cool. gypsum? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, hey guys, it rescued the tomato, and it's nearly a world record size tomato, Blossom and Rot, on this one, um, with Blossom and Rot that got recovered. Uh, so if you want some of that same stuff that Dad put on us, go to our website. You probably see a link in the top corner of your screen right now for Solution grade gypsum. That is what we put on it, or yeah. he put on it. Yeah. And you, you suffer with a size... Uh, once you put that much gypsum, that much calcium on there, then that, that uh, fights with all the potassium, potassium and so the, your potassium gives you the size. So you, you lose, you give and take. It's, it's, you're rescuing a tomato, but you may not have a big tomato like you, you're hoping. Yeah, well, it's better than losing the entire tomato. Yeah. So it's like cutting your leg off to spare your body, right? And you can save the seeds, <laughs> at, save, save the seeds at least, you know, if you're trying to save seeds. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's that's really good to know. So yeah, if you guys want some of that solution grade gypsum to rescue your tomatoes from BER or blossom end rot, check it out at our website, SouthernOrganics.com. And you can always 
If you don't, if you can't quite find the product by browsing the soil amendment page, all you got to do is just go to the search box and start typing it in and it'll pop up as a suggested result. So that's really handy. Uh, it's one of the best things I like about our website. You can just start typing anything in, in the search box and it'll start popping up results and then you just click on it. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll be happy to ship you some solution grade gypsum or any other kind of gypsum. Uh, check it out over there at our website, southernorganics.com. The same stuff that, w that the pros use, you can use in your own garden. Works good. Uh, why did you use solution grade gypsum over like uh, a pelletized gypsum? Uh, way faster acting. Yeah. Yeah. And, you, and so you apply it just by putting it into like a spray bottle? No. Or not? I just put it in a watering can and, uh -huh. and wa water around just the base of the plant. Just drench it? Yeah. Like a, like a drench application? Yeah, you don't want to spray it on the leaves because it turns all white. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So that's what Dad did. You can do it too. It's really super easy. And if you see signs of that blossom end rot coming on, you've got a couple yucky bad spots on the bottom of your tomatoes, just start doing that. You better do it when it's really early stage, otherwise you're not going to save it. Right. You might save other tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're just growing regular ED tomatoes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. You, you don't have to be growing um, giants, of course, and it'll work for any kind of tomatoes that's getting blossom end rot. We have another video on that as well on our channel already that goes into more detail on blossom end rot. You can check that out. I'll put a link probably in the top right hand corner of your screen right now. You can find it down in the description as well. And you check that out for yourself. A lot more detail on, on how to rescue your plants from and prevent blossom and rot. So at the beginning of the season or whatever, what to mend your soil with and yeah. also in the fall time. Just make sure you don't put Tums in, in your planting home. I think that's going to fix it. <laughs> Tums? <laughs> oh yeah, it's already giving me a belly ache. Or, or a stomach whole, ache already. Whole, whole egg with an eggshell. They got all kinds of crazy internet myths on there for <laughs> trying yeah. to pre prevent blossom and rot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. It doesn't work too well. You're going to waste your time and <laughs> be disappointed. So anyways, if you want to know how the pros do it, you can do it that way. It's not very expensive. No. It really isn't what, what, what uh, Dad put on there. So check it out our website and we're glad to ship you some. If, if you like the video, please subscribe and uh, leave us a comment down in the section below. And if you have a suggestion for a new video or something that you'd like us to cover, yeah, let us know. We always read those comments. And uh, thank you uh, everybody for all your orders on our website this far. Been a lot of them, been a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the results from all your amendments you put on your soil. Yeah, let us know. Uh, I've already heard some people are saying, I've heard, I heard one, I think it was up in Michigan that said, my garden is the envy of the neighbors. So uh, that was, that was fun. Another one down in Texas, uh, just the other day said, uh, they set up a high tunnel and they're getting it all set up with uh, composted beds and everything inside. So they're going to try to do some year round gardening. So you know who you are. I appreciate that note on your order the other day. So uh, we want to leave you with one verse before we go. And that is that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Mm -hmm.